Hey everyone, Dulcie here, and you're watching Candy's Garden. Yes, with another experimental video for you today. So for those of you who don't know, this is called a rambutan. It's a sweet fruit. And for those of you who don't know, I did do a video on how to grow this several years ago uh, whenever I was starting to try to grow things and I was somewhat successful in starting it, but that was about it. It was a fail for me. So um, I think I have perfected the art of growing this from a seed. So um, I want to add that this has got to be the most babied seed on the planet. All right. I will explain why in a little bit. But let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So before I open her up and show you how she looks like inside, um, I want to say that I have not been successful in uh, just sticking the seed of this into some soil. So we will not be sharing that method with you today. It's going to be what I show on this video. Anyways, as you can see, there is a line down the middle. You either um, peel it away, break her open with your nails, or like I did on here, use a knife to cut her open. And this is how she looks like inside. Take this away and you eat the flesh right here. And this is how her seed looks like right here. Now, um, you can either start her like this, um, the way I'm going to explain with this casing around the seed, or you can go ahead and peel her by any means necessary, either with your nail or with a knife. And I have one already done for us. So with the casing around the seed and without. So uh, let me go ahead, get my container ready and show you how to get this started. So as you can see, here is one that I started on June the 10th. Let me open her up so you could take a better look. But what I did was place a paper towel down at the bottom, set her on top, put a little bit of water. And I don't know if you can see why I say that this has got to be the most babied seed I have ever tried to grow. If you can look right here, let me pick her up. If you can look, there's already mold. Okay, if you don't continuously day in and day out check her for mold, she will surely die. Okay, so she's already got a little growth right here. You can check out right there. Yes. Okay, so today I'm going to rinse her off really good, change out the paper towel and the water, and she will be good to go. But I have some other ones that I started on the 16th of May. I started off with eight in this container. Two just did not survive. If I can open this up. There you go. Two did not survive. And I was left with six. Of course, in this container, you will see four. But that's just because. I've taken the other two out and I'm about to show you what they look like right now. But as you can see, there is some mold right here growing. And for the most part, everybody else looks decent. But just like this, just like the other ones, I have always replaced the paper towel and water. And I've also washed these babies out. Let me go ahead and show you the other two. So here's one. I'm going to be replacing the water today. Otherwise, yeah, just like the other one, um, there is a chance for mold. 
I am pretty sure I can place her into some soil and I think I am going to be doing that with her pretty soon as well as the other two good ones right here. But um, yeah, this one's looking really nice. And here's the other one. Here, this is also the reason why, as you can see, why this has got to be the most babied seed I've ever taken care of. I need to rinse this off before the mold does more damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me go ahead and put this little girl into some soil as well as these other two that are looking really nice. And we can go from there. So here are the seeds that I'm going to be putting into soil today. I have rinsed them off uh, in attempts to take out any chance of a mold on them. And I've got my seed starting mix ready for me. I will go ahead and place each of them into a cup that already has holes on the bottom of them. I'm going to cover them up a little bit more with soil. Put some water in this dish. Let them soak up water from the bottom. And hopefully um, I can share with you an update in a few days or a week or two from now. Wish me luck. So today is June the 29th. Just wanted to give a quick little update on the rambutan that I put into soil from seed that I started. As you can see, right there, right there. Just a little bit of growth. The tops of all of these was a little bad, so I kind of cut it down. But right there, there's a little growth right there. And then right there, it's doing really good. So I had cut the tops of all of these girls, um, I think yesterday, because they were a little bit brown, not doing really good. Hopefully, since I did that, they'll do better and they'll really start growing now. So hopefully in a couple more weeks, they'll be a little bit bigger, I hope. The seeds that I have inside are doing okay, but they're not as far along as these were whenever I put these into soil. So I'm really hoping that I do well with at least these three. God willing, wish me luck. All right, that's it for this update. So today is July the 13th and I wanted to give a little update on these girls. They're doing okay. This one over here, still somewhat small, right there. Still very small. This one's pulling through. And this one is the most promising. Alright, I will catch y'all in about two more weeks. So, today is July the 19th, and I was supposed to do an update next week, uh, but I wanted to do a short little update this week because I was examining them, and this one isn't really doing well. It's not good. This one is a no-go. It's just a bunch of mush in there. So this one, um, it looks like it's okay. Um, this part doesn't look too, too good, but I'm not sure. But the rest of it looks okay. And this one is the most promising one so far. So I hope one of the two do make it and I can have a good successful outcome with either of these. First of all, before I begin, I'd like to say please excuse my neighbor's dogs. 
Um, yeah, they're both in right now. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah. yeah, today is July the 28th, a little over a week since the last update. Let's take a look at this one, shall we? So, as you can see, I checked it today and it is a bunch of mush. So, uh, this one's no go. I will be tossing it out today. This one looks the most promising. I hope I don't kill her. Wish me luck. And we will continue um, this journey with this rambutan seedling. So, wish me luck. So today is August the 9th, just wanted to give a little update on this little one. So I uh, moved her to a different location where there's a little bit more sun for her, uh, some indirect uh, sunlight, and I think she's doing okay. She was staying too moist where I used to have her. So I even checked out her roots, and they were looking really good. And I'm hoping from now on she will start to improve and she does well in the near future all right y'all so today is august the 16th and i was going to wait another week to share an update with y'all on this little girl but as you can see she is not looking too good yeah i don't believe she's going to make it so um this type of um tree just has not worked out for me but i've got a solution i cannot grow a rambutan tree from seed but what i can grow and what is similar to the rambutan is a long gone fruit tree yeah i'm good at growing those just not the rambutan fruit tree yeah so I am happy to be able to grow a long gone fruit tree so if that's what I've got to do because they are similar fruits I will stick to growing long gone fruit trees and I will share a video on how to grow a long gone fruit tree from seed in the near future well, sorry to disappoint y'all, but uh, maybe if y'all have any tips and tricks to growing a rambon fruit tree from seed, you can let me know in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I do hope you all enjoyed this, even though this was a fill for me. And remember y'all, love God because he loves you. And y'all have a nice day now. You hear? Bye.